Hi, my name is Claire and I am sitting next to Jasper. So Jasper is a very sweet little Sarabal who lives with me because he has brain damage. Um, we don't live an ordinary life. We live at Cheetah Experience in Bella Bella and my job here is to look after all the animals that are not cheetahs. So the Sarabals, Caracals, uh, lions, tiger, leopards and even the barnyard animals such as the goats and the geese and the ducks. Uh, it's not a job. It's a life for sure. I'm from Scotland and in Scotland it's difficult to work with animals and as I grew up I always loved nature. I used to watch the birds at the window at my grand's work and I used to write down every single bird I, I saw and I used to run to my grand and say, grand, grand, I saw, I saw a chaffinch today and she would just smile at me and say that's really exciting and I think, you know, she saw them every day and every stray cat in the street was my friend and the hedgehogs, I would pick up hedgehogs and I would spend time with them in the day and release them back at night. So I always loved animals growing up. I remember I wanted to be a vet, but I'm not studious enough, I think, to be a vet. Uh, so my next option was to be a safari guide in South Africa, or Africa, it didn't really matter where. And I don't know, Africa was always one of those places that's kind of out of reach because it seems so far away, it seems so, it's a different kind of life. But when I saw the, the picture of Rihanna and she said, you can come and volunteer, I thought, oh my goodness, am I actually gonna be able to come and get close to these animals, to work with these animals? Because in Scotland, I worked with children with disabilities, with special needs, with autism and learning disabilities and, and you know physical disabilities. And so my job was not similar in any way. I didn't work with animals at all. I had no studies with animals, but I, I loved them. And I would go to the zoo and I'd look at safari parks and I'd buy magazines with wildlife on. And now I could actually go to South Africa and see a leopard in real life, a cheetah in real life. I've been here for over 10 years now. So it's very cool, I'm very lucky. And I started as a volunteer way back in 2011. I saw a picture of Rihanna actually in her bed with two cheetahs on Facebook. And I contacted her and said, wow, your life is amazing. And she said that, you know, she has a volunteer project. I can come and do something like that as well. So I did. I put a shout out on Facebook to see if anyone wanted to join. And there was another girl who said, yeah, sure, let's go to Africa. And we came out and I fell in love with the project, with the atmosphere. And the first time I came to Cheetah Experience, the facility was so small, you know, there wasn't so many animals. There weren't so many people. It was a lot of hard work. We were given quite difficult tasks, but the atmosphere was fun and it was, it was a family. So it didn't matter how hard the work was because at the end of the day, we were all in it together for the animals and we everyone who came that first time came back and that's pretty special if a place can pull people back repeatedly then it says it by itself the animals come first and it's such a special place to see how much love there is for the animals at the facility with the from the volunteers to the other staff and just the animals in general are so very very happy um, and everything we do every day is for them. Uh, I came back again in 2012 for three months, but I stayed for six. And then I came back again in 2013 and I never left. And this is my home. And I don't think there's anyone else in the world who can say that they are living their dream quite like the people here, like me and Rihanna and, and the other staff. We, we wake up every day, we step outside of our house and we are, paradise. It's perfect.